Thank you all for taking the time to be here today. And I'm excited to introduce you to GenIP, a company at the forefront of innovation. And at GenIP, we're not just imagining the future, we're helping to build it by bringing the, back, the gap between groundbreaking discoveries and market success. We're empowering research organizations and businesses to turn ideas into impactful solutions. Today, we will show you how we're leveraging cutting edge technology like generative AI to drive meaningful results and in a rapidly growing market. Before we dive in, uh, please take a moment to review the disclaimer on this slide. Um, it provides important information and it will also be included in the presentation uh, once we share it with you. Thank you. So let's start with generative AI. Uh, what is it and why is it reshaping the, what, the way we innovate? Generative AI refers to system capable of creating content and solutions by analyzing vast data sets powered by large language models, LLMs. GenIP is leveraging this transformative technology in a market projected to see, exceed 5 billion by 2030. Since introducing GenAI services, we have achieved remarkable results securing over 40% of our 2023 revenue in just about three months. Uh, for instance, a Fortune 100 technology company doubled potential orders due to our enhanced cap capabilities. Um, the potential uh, is huge and with over 4,000 research institutions, venture funds and companies that can benefit from our services, our AI tools are using areas like technology transfer and research analysis, making us a key player in this, this growing market. So now let's dive into technology transfer, an essential process that turns ideas into real world applications. Technology transfer is a critical process that dives innovation, drives innovation and economic growth. It occurs when research institutions and innovations are developed in business, universities and government labs, and they are then transferred to the marketplace often through licensing agreements, partnerships, and startups. Some of these um, most transformative, transformative technologies in recent years have been products of university technology transfer. For example, uh, Stanford University, they launched Google, Yahoo. Also, Harvard played a key role in uh, Moderna's mRNA vaccines and the CRISPR-Cas9 generated technology. Um, also, MIT brought us uh, Ginkgo Bioworks and iRobot. And also we have Alexa, a voice technology, which licensed to Amazon and originated at the University of Washington. And these success, these success stories highlight how technology transfer bridges the gap between academic discovery and commercial innovation, generating billions in royalties for research institutions and funding for their innovations. But despite its, but its potential, 80% of university discoveries never reach the market. And that's where GenIP steps in. At GenIP, we provide tailored tools and expert analysis to help research institutions and corporations to identify the most promising technologies for commercialization. Since launching our GenAI services, GenIP has secured 195 reports and also eight executive search assignments and major agreements, including with a leading uh, Saudi, uh, Saudi research institution and a Fortune 100 company. Additionally, GenIP sponsors um, different events, and we recently attended, attended uh, an event in Brazil, which is very important for the technology transfer space. And we were also invited to attend another event in Singapore, where we were able to generate more than 50 qualified leads. So at GenIP, we specialize in empowering research organizations to bridge the gap between discovery and commercialization. So just to walk you through how our process works and how we integrate GenAI to create unparalleled value, um, I would like to first give you an introduction to how the process works. Um, so first, 
research organizations are at the heart of innovation. They generate discoveries across various domains, uh, from life sciences to engineering, engineering to emerging technologies. And these discoveries are the whole immense commercial potential. Uh, but many struggle to navigate the complex journey from the lab to the marketplace. And that's where we come in. GenIP's GenAI Enhanced Services evaluate these discoveries, uncover their market potentials, and deliver actionable strategies for commercialization. By combining cutting edge AI uh, with expert analysis, we simplify the process and help institutions to focus on the breakthroughs more, most likely to succeed. The impact here is that more innovations reach the market, whether through licensing, partnerships, or new ventures. This drives revenue for, for research organizations and, of course, accelerates technological progress and economic growth. So at GenIP, we have developed two complementary services that leverage the power of generative artificial intelligence and human expertise to help organizations to unlock the full potential of their innovations. The first service that we have in-house is the Invention Evaluator Service. And this service provides bespoke research reports that assess the market potential of new technologies. We have partnered with industry leaders like University of Washington and University of Huddersfield to support their innovation pipelines. Then we also have the Vortex. Vortex is a headhunting service that specializes in finding people capable of commercializing early stage technology. Together, these services make GenIP a one-stop solution for turning discoveries into successful commercial ventures smarter and faster and better than ever before. At GenIP, our mission is simple. Uh, we want to bridge the gap between groundbreaking discoveries and commercial success, and we help organizations to turn innovative ideas into market-ready solutions, creating, of course, real value and driving global pro progress. Um, guided by our core values, innovation, inter integrity, and excellence, we empower our clients through services like Invention Evaluator and Vortex, and our goal is to ensure transformative ideas reach the right people and industry, making innovation accessible and impactful. So GenIP's growth strategy focuses on three pillars. To establish us as a leader in the generative AI analytics market, we want to first um, drive uh, the revenue growth. Uh, so we aim for profitability by mid-2025 through expanding our customer base, um, targeted marketing, and optimizing operations for greater efficiency. Um, also, we are enhancing our AI-driven tools for faster and more comprehensive reports with multilingual capabilities, driving higher margins and increasing client value. Um, and additionally, we are actively seeking proven B2B AI applications to integrate into our portfolio, expanding our services and fueling uh, long-term growth. So our first groundbreaking Gen AI service um, is Invention Evaluator. And the service delivers del, uh, delivers very detailed 40 to 50 pages report that assess the market potential of any technology. These reports are produced in just a few business days, and they're trusted by our clients who rely on them for objective, in-depth evaluation, covering technology merits, IP analysis, competitive landscape, and potential partners. Using our AI-driven system, proprietary software, and also human experts, we analyze vast amount of data to deliver actionable insights and also help organizations to make informed decisions about where to focus their resources. Um, and also, it's uh, good to worth noting that our reports are offered at a fraction of the cost of similar services. We have already delivered over 5,000 um, reports to more than 300 clients worldwide for the pre-AI pre -AI, uh, version, including leading corporations, government agencies, medical research institutions, and venture capitalists. 
and also 90% of our revenue comes from repeat business with multi-billion pound organizations like Hong Kong University of Technology, University of Washington, and other institutions that rely on, on our reports to guide their most, their most strategic decisions. So now we have integrated GenAI into our Invention Evaluator service, and it has significantly enhanced our service offerings because now we can offer the report um, in the least amount of time. Uh, it enables us to deliver 40 to 50 pages in just a few business days, not weeks, allowing clients to make faster data-driven decisions. Um, also, we can now produce the reports in multiple languages uh, broadening our go global reach and improving accessibility for international clients. And also, we're now providing deeper market evaluation. Um, GNAI helps analyze larger data sets, uncovering emerging trends and assessing market dynamics and also providing clients with more actionable insights for less than $1,000. So to summarize it, GenIP provides data-driven insights that empower informed decision-making uh, with objective, cost-effective solutions and are quick assessments supported by proprietary data collection and also quality assurance, ensure that our clients receive accurate, timely, and actionable results, helping them to navigate the complex markets with confidence and efficiency. So the process to order the invention value reports for our clients is very simple. It's a three-step process. And the first thing is that they submit the 11 submission questions. Those are questions so that our analysts understand the core of the invention. Then our in-house expert anal analysts prepare the reports using our proprietary software. Um, and then they receive, the client receives the, the report um, in 10 business days, in less than 10 business days. So the second service is the Vortex. And Vortex is a specialized headhunting service focused on identifying top talent to help commercialize early stage technology. Um, we have a proven, re a proven track record of completing hundreds of assignments with the pre-AI uh, version. And we offer a cost-effective solution with a flat fee pricing model that saves our clients about 50% compared to traditional recruitment methods. Uh, we also leverage our strong relationship with invention evaluator clients uh, because we see that we offer we meet our clients' needs for both technology evaluation and also executive recruitment. Both Vortex and Invention Evaluator share the same customer base, ensuring that we provide um, the services to both of them. And we offer this executive uh, recruitment service for a competitive flat fee of just 15000 and significantly, which is significantly more affordable than any other typical headhunting fee, which is going to be probably from 20 to 30 percent of a candidate's first year. Um, and given that the executives we place typically earn between 100,000 to 300,000 in the first year, traditional fees can range from 30,000 to 90,000, making Vortex a smarter choice for organizations looking to optimize their recruitment board budget. So we have elevated our Vortex service with AI, transforming the recruitment process into faster, more efficient, and personalized experience. Uh, we have combined AI with our expert team, and now we can very fast identify top candidates, ensuring the perfect match based on the skills and cultural fit uh, while minimizing the bias. Um, this innovation also streamlines resume screening, uh, handling large application volumes with unmatched efficiency. Um, also, with access to a global network of universities, corporations, research centers, and government agencies, we're tapping here into um, thousands of specialized roles needed annually. So the recruitment process is very simple also and efficient and, and also very efficient for our clients. Uh, we combine AI uh, with also human expertise for fast and accurate results. Um, and the first thing that we do is to understand the client needs to tailor the search for the, the ideal candidate. 
The second thing is that AI optimizes uh, the job descriptions and it ensures that we have a broad reach. And then um, generative AI also filters resume qualifications while our experts conduct uh, in-depth reviews. And uh, this, the next step is that our tech recruiters interview, check backgrounds, and ensure the best fit. And the last step is that we monitor new hires' performance to ensure that there is a long-term success. So GNIP is focused on several key initiatives um, to drive the growth. Um, and we're building a strategic partnership with industry leaders and research institutions to create new opportunities. We're also showcasing client testimonials and success stories to build credibility and attract new clients. And as we grow, we plan to hire experienced sales and marketing professionals to expand our customer base and increase visibility. Um, also, we will be hosting webinars and networking events to engage clients and build strong relationships, while also, of course, enhancing our website user experiences uh, to boost our engagement. Um, we will also be attending to multiple industry events. For example, we just attended to this amazing, uh, wonderful event in Brazil and also another event um, two weeks ago in Singapore. And lastly, we are partnering with a, uh, with a marketing agency that has strong B2B experience uh, to generate more qualified leads. It's good to mention that all the growth that we have had until now has been organic. Um, no marketing investment has been made. Uh, so we're, we're very excited for the opportunity to engage in with this marketing firm and reach a broader audience. So the generative AI um, analytics market is set for a rapid growth. As you can see here, um, it is a projected reach of 68.9 billion by 2032 up from 721 million in 2022 and this growth reflects the increasing demand for ai power insights to drive the decision making and innovation and gen ip is well positioned to capitalize on this uh, trend and using our advanced gen ai capabilities to deliver high quality and data driven insights we believe we can do it and our mission is very clear we make innovation accessible actionable and successful um, we just want to bring ideas to life and shape the future together with our clients so this is the board and just to give you an introduction um, i'm melissa cruz ceo of gen IP, and i've been focusing on using invention evaluator and vortex to help our clients commercialize technologies and I have a strong uh, sales background and marketing background, and I've been in the tech transfer space for over seven years now. I also hold a bachelor's uh, in business administration and a master's of science in marketing. And I have completed extensive certifications in, te in technology commercialization, which has equipment for expertise to bridge the gap between their, the innovative technologies and successful market outcomes. We also have Kevin Fitzpatrick uh, with here today with us. Um, he's here with us today, um, and he is our CFO. And Kevin brings over 20 years of ex expertise across tech and SaaS sector with a proven track record in both public and private companies. Kevin recently served as a finance director at Stanley Gibbons PLC. We're also very fortunate to have two of the UK's top innovation experts as part of our team. Uh, first, we have Lord David Willits. Um, he's a chairman of the UK Space Agency and a former Minister of Science and University. And he also has extensive experience in driving innovation policy. And we also have Professor David Gann. He's a leading figure in innovation and was previously chairman of the UK Atomic Energy Authority and a, prof a professor at Oxford. He's also a non-executive director and um, at Bencap, a venture capital fund of funds, and has invaluable connections with university presidents um, in the UK. Both Lord Willets and Dr. Gan are passionate about the potential to impact the university and research institutions, and we plan to leverage their networks to unlock the new opportunities. Um, their involvement um, 
actually reflects their excitement about our mission to drive innovation and commercialization in the UK and also globally. Um, so we're very excited to have them on the board. Now we have the management team. Um, as you can see here, we are a small yet highly skilled and synergistic team. Uh, with a wealth of industry experience and a strong academic foundation. We have been working together for several, year, several years now and combining deep expertise with a diverse range of backgrounds, including multiple master's degrees and proficiency in several, in several languages. Um, as I said before, I'm Melissa and I oversee our efforts to help clients bring their technologies to market. And I'm truly excited about the future of GNIP and the impact we can make in the industry. Um, also, our software development is led in-house by Selwyn Lloyd, our CTO, and he brings extensive experience uh, from international companies like Vodafone and British Telecom, as well as an MBA from Oxford. Um, also, we have Anna Orti, she's our head of global operations, uh, and she has a few years of experience in the industry and holds an MBA from EAE. Um, and we also have Kevin, uh, he's a charter accountant with 20, with over 20 years, of, 20 years of experience in providing audit reports and has worked with Stanley Givens. Uh, bringing a solid financial back background to our team. And he also has a strong background managing growth companies in, te in the tech space. So as for our analyst team, um, our team of in-house analysts each hold advanced degrees um, and they bring extensive exp expertise in life sciences, physical sciences, engineering and ICT, and they produce detailed, insightful reports tailored, tailored to the unique needs of our clients. So it's very important to know that it's not only the software stack that we develop in-house and the generative AI, but it's also human expert um, expertise. The human factor is very important for us. Um, so we are very proud about that. And by blending academic uh, experience with industry experience, our team assesses the commercial potential in, uh, and innovation opportunities and also competitive landscape of emerging technologies. And this enables our clients to make well-informed decisions um, with confidence confident to acceler accelerate the path uh, to commercialization. So these are some of our clients. Um, as you can see here, we have clients from all over the world. Uh, we have clients from United States. We have clients from the United Kingdom. We have clients from Australia, South Africa. And this is just a portion of our clients. Um, this is a testament that they trust our services because most of our clients are not, um, they are not allowed to um, show their names or provide their testimonials uh, for things like this. But we have here a sample of our clients that have agreed to um, to share their their logos because they are very happy with the results of our services. Um, so this is just a sample of the, the clients that we have. Um, so 90% of our revenue comes from repeat business. Um, and as you can see here, we have some testimonials from different clients. For instance, uh, we have here Patricia Nita. She's a deputy manager of innovation at COPEC, a government agency. And she says, we have had a great experience with the results of the studies we have requested. And this speaks to our commitment to building lasting client relationship and providing strong satisfaction to our clients. And remarkably, this success, as I said before, has been achieved through organic growth with no significant marketing investment. And since launching our GNI services, we have secured 195 invention evaluator reports, orders, um, and eight vortex search assignments, demonstrating our ability to meet the ongoing needs of our clients. Um, and just to highlight again, we launched our services in September 1st. Um, so while GNIP is a new company, our proven track record resonates with multi-billion pound organizations. And with our enhanced services, we're confident that we will continue to deliver even greater value.
this is also some testimonials from other clients that we have provided our services to. Um, so here I'm going to just leave the slide to Kevin. Um, so Kevin, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. So generative AI has experienced a surge of investor interest in 2023 with equity funding from startups reaching unprecedented levels. You can see how it went up five times from 2022 and almost twice as many deals between 2022 and 23. So this explosive growth reflects the transformative potential of Gen AI across industries from healthcare and education to finance and beyond. And with numerous high value deals closed and billions in disclosed funding, the data highlights both the pace of innovation and the confidence investors have in this technology. So this boom sets the stage for sustained growth and creates opportunities for companies like us, like Gen IP, to capitalize on this wave of innovation by delivering tailored solutions to a rapidly expanding market. So over the past 10 years, the median pre-money valuations of AI startups have grown dramatically, reflecting the sector's increasing maturity and market potential. From modest valuations of less than a million in 2014 to an impressive 12 million in 2024, uh, the data underscores investor confidence and the accelerating demand for AI-driven AI innovation. And this trend highlights how AI has transitioned from a, an emerging technology to a cornerstone of business strategy across industries. It also validates the growing opportunities for companies like Gen IP to position themselves within this dynamic and high growth ecosystem. The surge of valuations, particularly at pre-seed and seed stages, reflects robust competition for early stage AI ventures with promising scalability and impact. So that concludes our presentation. Thank you very much, Melissa and Kevin. So as expected, there's been a number of questions. So we're going to jump straight into those. So Peter asks, uh, the first question here, uh, which service do you think is going to drive the most revenue growth? And of course, that's a question between Invention Evaluator and, and Vortex. So Invention Evaluator is going to be the one that is going to drive the most revenue. Uh, but again, uh, we have the same client base for both services. So any client that is a client for Invention Evaluator can then be a client to Vortex. Thank you. So... Uh, Chris has kindly asked two questions here. So I think I'm going to ask the first one and direct it to you, Melissa. And it's uh, a question about the moat competitive advantage. Um, you know, could you speak to Gen IP's moat and you know where it sits within the competitive landscape, please? Yes. Um, so we are very proud to have two services that help our clients to commercial evaluate and commercialize technologies. It's a one to two punch. You have the Invention Evaluator service to evaluate technologies, and then you have the Vortex to find the people to commercialize these technologies. So our clients are the same for both services, and we believe that we have the low cost, we're the low, low, low cost provider of uh, an evaluation tool like Invention Evaluator, and we also are the only tool that can offer these type of services in such a small amount of time. So um, it's timely, it's cost effective, um, and it's also verified by the human experts. Thank you. And the second part of Chris's question, I'm going to direct to, to you, Kevin. And he asks if Gen IP will provide earnings guidance going forward. That's, that's a difficult one to do at this early stage. 
So we probably won't be giving any earnings guidance until we've got through our first year end and we've made some announcements uh, thereafter once we've established a base that we can we can talk to. We should be able to give earnings guidance going forward, but we need to get our first year end out of the way. Thank you. So there's a question here about your generative AI models. And you know, it, it's really about you know, how different they are and why they're different to services like ChatGPT. Of course, you've got Anthropics out there, Google's Gemini, uh, you know, of course, you know, reports, everybody's used these services. So what sets GenIP's models apart from these other models that are out there on the market? Thank you, Jonathan. So, well, ChatGPT and similar chatbots are powerful indeed. Our models are tailored specific, specifically for the complexities of technology commercialization. So, we combine uh, expert human analysis with our Gen AI algorithms, ensuring that our reports are not only a fast solution, but also insightful and verified by professionals with advanced degrees. So this dual approach gives us a unique edge in the market. And we believe that effective innovation requires young human ex oversight. So our team uses their knowledge to guide the AI, helping it address possible blind, blind spots and deliver comprehensive high quality reports that a standard chatbot might miss. Thank you. So there's a question here from Alan, and it's a question about product diversification. And, and the, the question is, you know, do you have any plans to diversify your products away from reports? And there's a second part of the question here, uh, which is, you know, what other applications does your technology have? Yes. Yeah, so right now, uh, our focus is to stay laser focused on sales. Uh, we would like to uh, reach profitability by late 2024, 2025, uh, but there are other generative AI services uh, options for uh, Gen IP. For example, market research and competitive analysis, um, customer segmentation and, and profiling, um, also sales forecasting and pipeline management, um, CRM analytics, uh, supply chain optimization. Um, so the, the possibilities are limitless. Uh, but as I said, we are focusing right now on only uh, increasing sales and satisfying our client base. And then we will, of course, expand our, our um, service offering. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's a question here from Arthur who asks, how do you plan to penetrate the recruitment market, given that it's quite a crowded space? Yes. So um, as Vortex is a specialized headhunting firm. Um, there are many headhunting firms in the market, but we only specialize in finding people capable of commercializing early stage technology. Um, also, we have a huge network. Um, we are very known in the industry. We're very connected. We have been invited to attend multiple events. Um, so, and we also have a, a very extensive client base for invention evaluators. So, um, we are a leading expert in that sector. So even though it's a it's a niche, we're the we're one of the few firms that specializes in the, in the, in finding people for only for technology commercialization. And we're also the headhunting firm that provides a low cost solution. So we understand the type of cost the the type of profile that they are looking for. Thank you. And there's another question here about the executive search side of the business. And it's a question about how are models used within the, the, the business? How, how are they implemented within Vortex? Yes. So our service Vortex specializes in connecting organizations with top tier executives for technology commercialization roles. And our Gen AI models enhance the process by analyzing large data sets to quickly identify potential candidates and assess their fit for technology commercialization roles. Um, the final selection is then driven by human insights, and this dual approach significantly improves recruitment outcomes and makes it more cost effective. Thank you. So final question here from James, who asks, now that your AI models are fully integrated, have you identified any areas for improvement? So we um, continue to work on the reports. Um, right now, the, the, we already have the, the AI enhanced products and our customers are really loving it. We have received amazing feedback from our clients. 
Um, so the goal is to continue to offer these uh, products as, as, as they are because our clients really love them. And as I said, 90% uh, of our clients are repeated clients. So this means that they're very happy with the reports. Um, and we have received um, 195 orders for the investor value reports. Um, so we're very happy with the, the outcomes of the new report as they are right now.